Hello, everybody. In this tutorial the module JSON will be clearer for us. JSON encoder and decoder. And everything about handled JSON files by Python. A little bit about JSON format, another word is JavaScript object notation. JSON is a lightweight data interchange format. It is easy for humans to read and write. It is easy for machines to parse and generate. It is based on a subset of the JavaScript programming language standard ECMA 262 3rd edition, December 1999. JSON is built on two structures, object and array. Let's see at main objects in JSON module. You can get these by calling the underscore all underscore attribute of package. Dump, JSON to file like object. Dumps, JSON to string. Load, JSON file like object to Python object. Loads, JSON string to Python object. JSON decoder, simple JSON decoder. JSON encoder, extensible JSON encoder for Python data structures. JSON decode error, subclass of value error for JSON. Dump method. Serialize object as a JSON formatted stream to FP, write supporting file like object, using this conversion table. The JSON module always produces str objects, not bytes. Therefore, fp.write must support str input. Other parameters are necessary for JSON encoder class. Simple usage of dump method image that we have random json data in file random json data.py create dump.py file import the json module random data create the main function open json file write json data to the file call the main function and run in terminal see the result dumps method Serialize object to a JSON formatted SDR using this conversion table. The arguments have the same meaning as in dump method. Note, keys and key slash value pairs of JSON are always of the type STR. When a dictionary is converted into JSON, all the keys of the dictionary are coerced to strings. As a result of this, if a dictionary is converted into JSON and then back into a dictionary, the dictionary may not equal the original one. Simple usage of dumps method. Remember our random data. Create dumps.py file. Import the JSON module. And random data. Create the main function. Convert JSON data to the string. Call the main function. Print the result. And run in terminal. Load method. Deserialize FP. Read supporting text file or binary file containing a JSON document to a Python object using this conversion table. Other parameters are necessary for JSON decoder class. Simple usage of load method. We have the dump.json file from previous example. Create load.py file. Import the JSON module. Create the main function. Open file. Read JSON data to the Python object. Call the main function. Print the result. Print the result type. And run in terminal. Loads method. Deserialize a SDR, bytes or byte array instance containing a JSON document to a Python object using this conversion table. The other arguments have the same meaning as in load except encoding which is ignored and deprecated since Python 3.1. If the data being deserialized is not a valid JSON document, a JSON decode error will be raised. In Python 3.9 version the argument keyword encoding was removed. Simple usage of loads method. We have JSON formatted string as input data. Create loads.py file. Import the JSON module. 
create the main function. Read JSON data to the Python object. Call the main function. Print the result. Print the result type. And run in terminal. Let's see examples of overriding decoder attributes. Create JSON underscore x.py file. Import the JSON module. And create JSON formatted string. Then define function to override the parse underscore int attribute. The function adding 10 to integers. And define function to override the object underscore hook attribute. The function print object as new line strings. Create function with load method and run in terminal. Do the same with method loads and see the result. JSON decoder class simple json decoder it also understands not a number infinity and negative infinity as their corresponding float values which is outside the json spec performs the following translations in decoding by default json decoder class parameters if specified object underscore hook will be called with the result of every JSON object decoded and its return value will be used in place of the given dict. This can be used to provide custom deserializations, for example to support JSON RPC class hinting. If specified object pairs hook, will be called with the result of every JSON object decoded with an ordered list of pairs. The return value of object pairs hook will be used instead of the dict. This feature can be used to implement custom decoders. Object pairs hook takes priority on the object hook. If specified parse float will be called with the string of every JSON float to be decoded. By default, this is equivalent to float function. This can be used to use another data type or parser for JSON floats for example decimal class. If specified parse int will be called with the string of every JSON int to be decoded. By default, this is equivalent to int function. This can be used to use another data type or parser for JSON integers for example float. If specified parse constant, will be called with one of the following strings, negative infinity, infinity, and not a number. This can be used to raise an exception if invalid JSON numbers are encountered. If strict is false, true is the default, then control characters will be allowed inside strings. Control characters in this context are those with character codes in the from 0 to 31 range, including tab, new line and other. JSON decoder class methods Decode, return the Python representation of str instance containing a JSON document. JSON decode error will be raised if the given JSON document is not valid. And example. Raw decode, decode a JSON document from SDR beginning with a JSON document and return a two tuple of the Python representation and the index in S where the document ended. And example. JSON encoder class. Extensible JSON encoder for Python data structures. To extend this to recognize other objects, subclass and implement a default method with another method, that returns a serializable object for a parameter if possible. Otherwise it should call the superclass implementation, to raise type error. Supports the following object and types by default. JSON encoder class parameters. If skip keys is false, the default. Then it is a type error to attempt encoding of keys that are not str, int, float or none. If skip keys is true, such items are simply skipped. If ensure ASCII is true, the default, the output is guaranteed to have all incoming non-ASCII characters escape. If ensure ASCII is false, these characters will be output as is. If check circular is true, the default, then lists. Dix, and custom encoded objects will be checked for circular references during encoding to prevent an infinite recursion. If allow n is true, the default, then not a number, infinity, and negative infinity will be encoded as such. 
This behavior is not JSON specification compliant, but is consistent with most JavaScript based encoders and decoders. Otherwise, it will be a value error to encode such floats. If sort key's parameter is true, default false, then the output of dictionaries will be sorted by key. If indent is a non-negative integer or string, then JSON array elements and object members will be pretty printed with that indent level. If specified separators, should be an item separator, key separator, tuple. The default is comma and semicolons. If specified default, should be a function that gets called for objects that can't otherwise be serialized. It should return a JSON encodable version of the object or raise a type error. If not specified, type error is raised. JSON Encoder Class Methods Default, implement this method in a subclass such that it returns a serializable object for O, or calls the base implementation, to raise a type error, as in documentation. Encode, return a JSON string representation of a Python data structure, O. Iter encode, encode the given object, O, and yield each string representation as available. And see the examples. Attributes of JSON decode error class. Message, the unformatted error message. Doc, the JSON document being parsed. Pause, the start index of doc where parsing failed. Line no, the line corresponding to pause. Call no, the column corresponding to pause. Command line interface. Run in terminal CLI command with specifying the JSON file. And see the result. Thank you for watching. Please, support the channel by like to let the more people see this video. Leave comment. Share. Subscribe to the channel. Be safe. Bye.